altitude to make these wings work, but perhaps not. Yeah, see, that doesn't... <laughs> oh, oh no, wake up! Oh, wake up! Oh, don't... <laughs>
some of these islands look pretty neat. But no, we're gonna head over here to this one. Where are these two? Is there another one down there? There is. Look at that thing down there. Maybe we'll get to do both. I don't know. We'll see. This island appears to be a resource island. Nice and flat. Let's go ahead and let's at least get two of our sails up. This sail and this sail. So when we cut the engine, we still have forward momentum. Like right now, we're cutting the engine. Ooh. Just jumped right on our engine. Just rammed it. Okay, let's get some oak. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Forget about me. Forget about me. I think all our lumber is in here. Well, I don't want to get killed with my lumber on me. You're going to draw us into a fight, aren't you? running too long. I should have known better. There we go. Finally. Now, we should be going nice and slow with just the sails. Let's get our engine repaired. Repair completed. How are you doing? You're good. This engine's good. Wing's good. these wings over here. I think that's it. I don't think we have any mantas on us anymore. So, okay. Not too bad. Oh, we're coming into view of the island now. Keep our engines off. That definitely is a separate island down beneath us in the clouds. It's kind of scary with as low as it is. You'd need clear skies to be able to see it. Look at this place, though. keep looking for the edge of the world it's like somewhere the wind wall stops and the edge of the world begins what's our heading we're still heading southwest so that is definitely the edge of the world beyond it this place looks really cool though these ruins and stuff man And look, there's a place up high, too. wonder how easy it is to get there from down here. Or if you have to take your ship. Well, we're going to do the bottom first. I can see all kinds of knowledge caches down here, and they are calling my name. Oh, look at that island. What? Man, you just never know what you're going to find. Ooh, look at those manta eggs. Nope, 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 nope. Turn. We're gonna settle over here. Yeah, it's quite a few manta eggs over there. Oh, lightning. Ooh. Well, that changes things a little bit. Very nice. Okay, let's get the tin. Uh, what do we have here? Tin, and we'll put the oak back before we lose it. Uh, let's see, we'll take the iron. I don't know why I put it there. We'll take the oak. Before we make contact with the ground, let's furl up our sails here. Closed and closed. Very good. We should level out. Perfect. This looks like a great place. Let's go ahead. We'll wait for our forward movement to stop, and we'll start building the pieces that we need. We'll start with the shipyard. There we go. Craft it. Let's 
go put our tin away. All right, have we stopped our movement? It looks like it. You can just hear the wind wall on the edge of the map making that sound. It's a little unnerving. It's pretty cool though. All right, let's go ahead and get our shipyard down, which should go right about here. And the stairs moved for some reason. Okay. There it goes, calling it into place. Boom. Docked. Look at that, we've still got almost 200 weight left over that we're not using. That's kind of neat. Let's explore this area a little bit. Huh, just a little piece of the island sticking up like that. It's kind of... Oh, and this just shaves off abrupt, abruptly. Look at that. Oh my. Well, let's at least see what kind of metal we're going to expect here. Nickel. Um... Well, uh, I think Blue Rose said in the comments that nickel was good. Um, I haven't not seen anything. I have not looked up anything to verify it yet. I figured we're a little we're a little ahead of ourselves to be worrying about the sand wall. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we can make it. We might as well go for it. I guess for the wipe, if we can get maybe one more Atlas core upgrade. It says it's resistant versatile. This looks like more oak here. Oh, look at this. I'm positive I haven't scanned all of these. Of course, the game is determined to prove me wrong. Really? All of this stuff? Oh, to knowledge. Memorial pillars were used in many contexts. This one sustained damage long ago. Whoa. A little freaky in here. Ooh, careful. Well, that's like a... What? Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, there's a whole like underside down here. That we could have we could have come in? Oh no, that's from our that's our ship dome. I thought that was an opening. That was a straight up opening to the sky. Wow, look at some of these plants. What kind of plant is that? Pardon me. Palm? That's palm? Interesting. And here we go. It's our first knowledge cache. 35 knowledge. Thank you very much. What kind of metal do we have here? Copper. That one's fuel. This whole thing is really neat. Ooh, careful with that grappling hook. Hmm. I don't recognize these. No, I guess I guess I've already scanned them. All these colorful plants begin to look the same. Well, this is really cool. But it very much seems like it is purely a knowledge cache. Or at least uh, there could be a chest that spawns here, but there didn't. One didn't spawn here this time, unless this is a path through. Ooh. Which it is not. It's just a little shelf up here with no real path through anything. Okay, well, I guess we can go back out then. 
Wait a second, what is this? Oh, it's like an archway. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's pretty neat. We're going to keep looking for a chest, though. Ooh, listen to that wind wall howl. I like our ship. I've started to contemplate the fact that the wipe will be coming soon. Probably sooner than I'm ready for. The more I started playing this game in an attempt to make progress before the wipe, the more frequently that I got into it and played it, the more I actually started really having fun with it. That's lit. So I am going to be sad when this series comes to an end with the wipe of the server. I do not think we'll be starting a new one, at least not right away. Traveler's Scarf and some titanium. Interesting. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I really like this look. I think this is sharp. Look like an airship pilot. 35 knowledge. Which, speaking of, we should be pretty close to getting our first Tier 4 wing schematic. Boom. So what do we have? The Aether Navigator. Power, pivot, speed, resilience. Pretty snazzy. We'll have to see how that compares to some of our other ones. If we can build Tier 4 engines that are pretty good and Tier 4 wings that are pretty good, perhaps the wind wall is not unrealistic. Although from a lot of things that I've read, doing it solo, even under the best conditions, is very difficult. But I've been doing my research. I don't want to try and aim for anything that's too unrealistic, both in scope of how much time we have left, but also in just able to be accomplished in the first place. So I'm still mulling over my decisions of how I'm going to proceed, and I'm leaning towards just continuing to run the Tier 3 Islands and just knowing that we didn't get to the nope. Tier 4 Islands. But it'll give us something to come back for, right? Maybe. I'm still mulling it over. I'm thinking about it. Nothing in the wooden chest. Some more metal over there we did not get. That's okay. A wing. What's your wing made of? Chestnut. I'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? Look at this over here. Pretty interesting. A little bit of parkour there. Hmm. I know lightning just struck the island, so I want to explore everything. Whoa! That's a cool looking statue. This was once part of a god statue. A bulky stone figure, the blocky style is typical of the Saborians. Oh, both parts of that were unscanned. That's pretty neat. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, we need to go up. We need to get... Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that island down there. That is another island down there. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get our knowledge. Thank you. Okay, we're getting stutter stepped all over the place here. Right, so as cool as these things are, they're just made from a bunch of pieces of other items. So it's a picture of the dog statue and stuff under the ground. Hmm. It's got to be talking about this dog statue, right? Ooh, ooh. Stay away. Let's see what we got here. 
Because you know if there's secrets, if there's a picture of a, of a mouth with a finger pushed to it, I am interested. This is it. The big circle is up there. So it's got to be down underneath. It's got to be even further underneath, right? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's much of anything down here. Hmm. Swing over this way. Nope. Here's something. Ugh. Nope, just a little hidey area. Okay. Let's come around this portion here. What we need to do now is get some momentum to swing ourselves back up. There we go. Let's get a little bit of this back and forth. All right, let's not hit the rocks, though. All right, this is going to work. This is going to work right here. Oh, no! And we're pulling up. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's do this now, for crying out loud. Okay, yep, that's one way to do it. So here's a statue of a person. The picture was of a dog, wasn't it? Well, we've not gone to every little temple yet. We did check that one. Ooh, there is something on the underside of that island, though. Hold on. Okay. Let's go to that island first. Changed my mind. I want to go to that island first. Hmm. Let's see if we can get attached up there. We can probably use our wings to get over there without having to undock the ship. Because now I want to go to that island if there are secrets there and get them before they're gone. Right, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put our wings on our character. Oh, we don't have the room, right? Because we're carrying all this other miscellaneous nonsense. No, it's because we're grappling hooked up somewhere. Which I guess makes sense. You don't want somebody to equip their their wings or to unequip their wings when they're just dangling. Ooh. Right, then you could you could exploit that. Okay. Now let's try it. Perfect. Let's give ourselves some momentum. I think height would be better than momentum, but we're going to try it. Anyways. Oh, we should be able to make this. No problem. Oh! Ouch! If we don't get wrapped up in everything. Alright, easy does it. Ah! Easy does it. Check this area out. Ooh, easy does it. Oh, I hit the button to trigger my wings and they didn't.
Oh, but this is under. I thought I had figured it out. I thought it was over here. Nope, not here. Mm, unless... I'm pretty sure this is just going to cut through to the other side, right? Right. Alright, well let's work our way up top. Woo! A little bit of the double tap there. A little dangerous, a little dangerous. Let's take this one easy. Yep. There we go. Couldn't quite get the altitude for the wings there. But at least we made it up. We're even closer to the wind here. Look at all the leaves. Hmm, I don't see... Oh, I see a knowledge cache. Okay. Well, that was plenty of reason to come over here. Very nice. 35 knowledge. Looks like we have a gray chest. Some lore. Which we already know. And a recipe which we already know. Okay, well we'll put those in a wooden chest. Excellent. Another one. Um, copper. Okay. Sure. And some lore. Alright. It's gotta be the dog statue. I'm gonna have to look more closely at it again. Um, but we still have one more little area we didn't go to, which is that area, not the area under that part of the island, but the other one. I wonder if that's what they were trying to tell me, is to go under that island. I didn't see any chests there. I haven't seen a single gold chest yet. We know there's one here. Let's see if we can take the wings all the way across. These wings are a lot of fun. I want to use them more. Ooh. Oof. They just they don't make quick adjustments. You got to go you got to be able to go down to get speed and then pull them up and then have enough time to actually lift up. Here's a wooden chest. Let's put our goodies in here. Somebody's lore, somebody's schematic. There you go. Uh that's not metal, but this one is. Let's see what's in here. More lead. That island could have stuff under it. Hmm. I feel like this one is obvious. It's not much of a secret. Because there's just a big tunnel to it. Hmm. Let's go over here and see what we have over in this direction some kind of map. What's glowing over here? Huh. Almost seems like there's something glowing here. Oh, I'm just so paranoid I'm going to lose my wings. Let's take them off. Got to do it. Got to take them off. Don't want to lose them, especially not to a glitch. That would that would be upsetting. So it's another picture. Of the bell. Right, which is there. And then down to the tree and then down. Huh. It definitely seems like there's something over to that other island.
Let's just check around the back side of this and let's check the rooftop here. Make sure we didn't miss anything here. No, nope, looks pretty straightforward. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone, Manta Ray. Leave me alone. <coughs> Please and thank you. What is there something down here, perhaps? Hmm. Not a single golden chest. And it's not a huge island. We've explored most of it. Let's head back over here. I've got a strong feeling that that's the island we need. There's an underhang over there. I don't think I checked that, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do that next. I want to I wanna grab this island while the image is still somewhat fresh in my mind. So the image was of the bell. And then down the stairs to a tree. be on the outside of there. The bell down the stairs. The tree is over here. Oh, that lightning is striking the island beneath us. Mm. Well, that's just going to have to be the next island we go to now. I hate to leave this one, though, before we found a single golden chest when I know lightning struck this island, too. Let's take another look at this. Statue of the dog. Next to the tree. Is lightning still striking that island beneath us? What's going on down there? It's a little intense. Okay, well I don't have a ton of other answers, and I feel like I've explored most of this island, if not everything. I don't see anything over here. All right, well now all this flipping around just makes me want to put the wings back on. So I feel like you need a lot of altitude to make these wings work, but perhaps not. Yeah, see, that doesn't... <laughs> oh, oh no, wake up! Oh, wake up! Oh, don't... <laughs> just walk that concussion off. Here's the dog. There's the tree. Should be here. Because even the other thing was like, down the stairs with the tree from the bell. I hate to give up, but the island is really small. There's not a whole lot else we can do while we look around. And that island is still being struck by lightning. Oh my goodness. What the heck is that? What is this? A fuel gauge. Okay. I'll take it. Some iron. Uh, we have the little shelf under that side, I guess. We can go over there. And we must have already come under here.
Well, there you have it, I suppose. No, okay, come on. Let's... Here. There. There. Unequip, please. Unequip. What's going on? What's going on? So I can't put anything there now? Oh, the game is just trying to make me lose it. Oh no, that's not the island. The island's over there. What was being struck by lightning over here on this side? Was it something up above? Oh, perhaps I wasn't paying enough attention. All right, now let's, let's just boost ourselves up here. Let's not make a huge thing of this. There we go. I'm very intrigued now, though, to see what was actually being struck by lightning. It was like right off the edge of the island. Oh, well, I hate to leave this island without any gold chests, but you know what? Let's let's go down here into this section one more time. Ah! I don't feel like this is much of a secret, though. This is kind of a pretty standard kind of space. I mean, it's not standard. It's a really cool space. Ugh. But I didn't see any golden chests here at all. Nor did I see hidden paths to go. But I mean, this is underneath one of the islands, although not underneath the dog statue. So I'm not sure. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's like a pillar holding everything up. Maybe there's a little nook or a cranny somewhere. This place is really neat, though. I think we just have to take a minute just to appreciate this island for what it is. Is it the iron? Oh, what is it? Hold on. Quality 2. No, yuck. Destroy that stuff. Destroy it. Still have no room to unequip anything. Really? It's getting a little wonky. Everything just sort of disappears into... into murky darkness. I don't have much of an idea of how any of this area looks at the fringes. Perhaps that's just the way it's meant to be. Well, Fudge, I think this might be the first island that I have come to that I did not find a single gold chest when I knew that there was one because of a lightning strike. I don't know how I feel about this. It's got me a little forlorn. I'm tempted to not rush <clears throat> and to just do it and to just hang out here and continue looking. See anything on this side? I don't see anything at all. Well, 
I guess we dr we drop off our supplies. There's no shame in doing that. We have found a few supplies. Nothing super grand, but, you know, we don't want to waste what we have. So we'll throw some more tin in there, some more nickel, lead. The titanium is good. We're going to hold on to that. Right here. Almost two stacks of titanium. That's pretty exciting. I don't really care about the scarf. I don't really care about any of this other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, not a single gold chest anywhere. It's got to be something simple, right? Oh, I don't... Let's take one more look. Let's take one more look at this point. At this point, we're committed. See if we can solve this mystery a little bit. It looks like this island could have an interior like the other one. I just don't know where the entrance would be. <clears throat> so I'm trying to check the uh, the uh, the edges of the island, like over here, well, where there's something. Looks like a little fire. Not much. Ooh, careful, careful. See, but I almost think these little ledges mean that you can't have an interior to this island because it doesn't go down as far as the other island. The other island goes way down. It has sort of this peak low point. This island doesn't really have that. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh my goodness, I need a drink. <sighs> it does look like we've checked everywhere, though. So I figure we can, we can just keep going around the outside of the island. Oh, have we checked the underside of this? Hold on. Well, we came walking under it. So I'm pretty sure this is the dog statue. This has got to be the dog statue. It looks like it. So, down the <clears throat> down the stairs, and yeah, exactly. What? Nothing. There's just nothing. There's no little caves. No little nooks and crannies. Oh well, it's still a pretty neat island. I think we're just going to have to let it go, though. Don't want to spend any more time here. We've got to continue on. And make progress. No matter what. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't have been up there. That one wasn't even like a little temple. It's almost like a camping area. It's got to be that the chests are 
the, or the chest, I'm assuming there's just one, is in a very specific spot? Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, we're going to have to uh, let this island go behind us as we need to move on. We did get the knowledge. We did get quite a bit of knowledge, actually. Let's go ahead and unfurl the sails, and we'll set up for the next island. I don't think we'll have time to do the next island, but we can at least go and get in position. And then once we're in position, we'll be able to start the next episode right at the next island. Which is going to be that one right there. So let's get poised to go nose down. We'll get the island in front of us. We'll travel under the radar of the mantas nice and silently. And as we look at the island that was able to keep its secrets from us and leave it behind. It's a pretty cool little island. That one's pretty neat too. I want to check that one out. We're going to keep the Atlas Core low. And the nose down. We should get there fairly easily. Eventually we will have to upgrade our ship. Um, hopefully soon. Even if we can't make it through the wind wall, we should at least break out all of these materials and make a new ship with the really great wings and the really great engine. Let's look at our schematics here. So for wings, right, we have the Aether Navigator. And I think that might actually be one of our best wings by far, the resilience and everything included. Do we have enough knowledge for another one? No, we don't. The engine, we only have one tier four engine but it is a doozy, the Sunstream Hurricane, high power, high resilience, high fuel efficiency. All very good things. That edge of the map makes me really nervous. Oh, why are we getting lightning? Wait a second. Was it this island? There's no island above us. Oh my, we were like right in the middle of that. I wonder if that's the lightning resetting the island. Oh, good night. I don't see an island below us, though. Can lightning just strike anywhere randomly? What does it mean if the lightning doesn't hit the island? Oh, I've got so many questions. Now we're going to push on to this island. We're not going to turn around. I thought about it. We're still close. But we're leaving it behind. Gonna run our engines for a little bit and then cut them before the manta rays get onto us. Just gonna make a beeline for the island. I'm sure that lightning strike was for that island, the more I think about it. 
which it, it is what it is. Okay. Nope. Nope. Engine's off. Engine's off. Alright, let's re-put in the fuel. At least they didn't ram any part of our ship. So that's where we're going to leave things. That's where I'm going to wrap things up. We're going to go ahead and stop the sails. And stop all of our movement. So that we can start the game nice and close to this island. It looks like the manta rays lost interest the moment the engines got cut off. And they didn't see me. Which is good. So this has been Worlds Adrift. Episode 31. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Let's so come back next time as we continue to move on through these islands, looking for another Atlas core upgrade, and hopefully upgrading our ship in the next few episodes. But until next time, take care.